Okay, <clears throat> hello guys. So, uh, I want to kind of start a new tutorial series. So, in this series, I'm going to be sculpting a face. So, this is my main reference in here. So, the my or rather the idea I have in mind is to kind of so probably kind of sculpt probably two faces from this or maybe even three faces from this but this we're going to be starting with this face though so it's like the main face we're going to be starting with then we can decide whether, whether or not we want to sculpt another face out of this probably even this face this is actually interesting this is an interesting face this is also an interesting face but this one looks more of a this more closer to a female face. This more closer to a female. Maybe just maybe my sculpt something like something of this also. But for now, I'm going to be sticking with this. So let me just save this up in the folder where it's supposed to be. So I know that okay, this is the project I'm going to be using for. This already have a folder for that, so let me just name this out. B no, B no, PRF. Okay, yeah, something like this. So now I opened my base mesh folder, so this is like my base mesh folder I've collected over the years. So, but this particular image, you know, you can see more of his, you can see some of his shoulders. You can see some of his shoulder in here. So I would like to get something that has more of his shoulder in there. So but most of these don't really have more of his shoulder in here, except for this one from 3D Scan Store. Yeah, except from this one from 3D Scan Store. So it's, I think this is this is the particular one I'm going to be I'm going to be using for this tutorial. Then I'm just going to cut off I'm going to cut off the part that I don't need. So I'm cutting off the part that I don't need. So uh yes, yeah, so let's just so I need to kind of create a new a new Maya file so I can just bring that in then I'm just going to cut out the parts I need so I have a new file here let me just close all of this then make sure we're on the modeling standard. So I'm just basically going to do like a copy and paste. So edit copy. Then I'll just paste this in here. So we have this guy all the way here. So we need to kind of get this guy in the center of our documents. Center our documents around here. So let's get this guy out of the group for so shift P to get him. So select him shift P to get him out of the group. Just delete this group for now. Let me just name this to Albino. You know, mail busts okay and i'll do a quick save for this file and just save this where it should be let me just save this up where this should be so this is just me trying to set up set up everything before moving on to sculpting so I'll be no character. Maybe I should even create a new folder instead. Uh, uh, I'll be no. Mail O1. 
the old one should be fine then enter then i'll just copy this parts copy this path directory and then paste this directory in here enter then i'll just name these two uh uh be no mail o one also all right so let's drag this in place first so so we're going to be <laughs> I'm going to be using the bot crack to kind of figure out where the center of this mesh is. So, thank God for giving us bot cracks so we can actually figure out the center of our body. So, let's set this bot crack in place. So, let's get a zoom in on this bot crack. Let's make sure this bot crack is in place. So, I'm saying that too. So, so, perfect bot crack in the center of our line, symmetrical bot crack. So, <laughs> so well, now we have that in place i'll just do a quick save for this file if you want to be more precise with the bot crack making sure it's in the right place you can always you can always go to the back back view you can always go to the back view to do that so yeah i think yeah, I think this is in the right place. That's fine. Let's just leave that the way it is. Do a quick save again. All right. So where should we cut out? Yeah. Let's just make sure our camera setting also is also set for a portrait camera setup. So so that we know where we are. So let's just set this vocal length to eighty five. So an 85 millimeter lens. All right. So this is a piece of portrait lens. What's with the camera scale? Let's set this to five. Let's see what that does. Ish. Ish. That's weird. Let's set this back to one, please. All right. Okay. Yeah, this will work. Okay, actually, just to make just to clear things up, this is actually an AI reference image. So I got this from an AI group. So this is a reference image made by an AI. So I'm going to be using this to kind of figure out how to sculpt this on my 3d model or just kind of create this in my, on a 3d on a 3, as a 3d model i might only be going for perfect likeness though but something close enough should be fine so yeah so let's figure out where the torso should be yeah i don't need i don't need the entire torso job i just need just need shoulder enough for this so I'm going to go to symmetry and make sure symmetry is on object X. And I'll go to face mode. Uh, I think probably grab more than more than what I need though. So something like this on both sides. Delete. Okay, so double click on this and then delete. Where else? Uh, okay, we should probably just do this where let's just do this where the arm kind of stops. So, somewhere around there, let's delete this. I'll uh, delete the bottom parts. I think this should be more or less fine for what we need it for. Yeah, yeah let's just let's just work with this instead. So I'll do a quick save. 
So one thing I noticed with this 3D scan base mesh was that they are using enough resolution for the nose. So when I was sculpting skin details for the nose, there isn't there isn't enough resolution for the for the nose to kind of hold some skin pores details. So I'll need to redo the UVs just before I just before I move this to Z brush. So let's get that on. Oh yeah, 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 one more thing. Uh let's get some eye in here. So I have an eye. I have an eye mesh that I can use. So let's just use the eye mesh. So there's an eye mesh I usually use. So I'm going to reuse that also. <coughs> In here, so uh, where is it? Export. So outer eyes and inner eyes. Yeah, and the meniscus also. So this. Uh, okay, and this. Is in I think I'm going to grab the inner eyes from another file. Uh, oh, no, no, I have a better idea. I think I have the file here. Yeah, yeah, I can just use what is in here. I can use what is in here. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into my into my scene and delete everything else. That oh crap! Why is this great? Great. So let me just grab this from somewhere else instead. Just grab this string instead and I'll just do a copy. Copy this. Yeah, I don't think I need this file anymore. Save. I don't need that file anymore, so let's come back in here and then we'll just do a paste. Paste. So the the size for this character is already real in real world scale already, so I won't need to do I won't need to do too much. Let me just kind of get this eye roughly in place. So getting this eye roughly in place. Let's go to the side view. Let's view it from the side view. Maybe down a bit more, I guess. Yeah, something like this should be fine. Uh, maybe I should bring this. Nah, uh, this should be fine. Let's get a full on side view for this. Just need to kind of capture where this should sit properly before moving on. Should probably hide this instead. Let's focus on this more. Let's check this from the front view. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think we're in the right spot, so this will be fine. I 
to, to work just fine. Obviously, we need to make some corrections to that and um, modify some things a bit more, but for the most part, this should be fine. Okay. So now, back to the UVs for this base mesh. So I need to dip, kind of clean this up a bit more. Okay. Let me just shift P to bring this out of the group. Then delete that group. Do a quick save. Yeah, let's get the UVs working correctly because I need more resolution for the nose. So, uh, UV editing. I think I'm going to save out. I think I'm still going to. I'm going to save out this version as part of my base mesh. So I'll save out this version as part of my base mesh. Well, after I'm done with the UVs, though, so select this. So the nose is just squashed in. You check. You can see a lot of tension on the face. So the other parts are actually fine. The other parts are actually fine. Maybe let's just do a quick UV unwrapping here. So let's just unfold this. Let's draw an unfold. Let's see what that gives us. So that frees up. That definitely frees up the tension even more. But I would definitely still want to cut out. <clears throat> I would definitely still want to cut out the nose out of this. So. Let's turn this off. So edge mode. Uh, let's see how much of this can should we grab. How much of this should we grab? Let's just stop at that point. It's a bit messy, I know, but no worries, we make this work. Once we start texturing, <clears throat> once we start texturing, we won't have any issues. So grab all of this. Now do it. Grab all of this. Now do a cut. Select this nose. Bring this out. Unfold as that unfolded. I like to get something round in here. Uh, just a bit too much. Let's get this right. Nope. Okay, let's do it. Cuts. Let's 
Let's push this down instead. Unfold. Then we need to add the cut in here. Cut. Unfold. Then let's add the cut. Cut in here. Unfold. Yeah, much better. So let's just orient this. Okay. Now we have less tension around there. So basically what, what I'm going to do now is to select all of this. Then let's just do a layout. Uh, okay, those are the, those are the arms. Mm, I like the face to come to have more resolution though. I like more resolution on the face. Where is this? Okay, that's the inner part of the mouth. Need more resolution on the face. So let's go to transform. Let's click on get textile density. Select the edge and click on set. Do I have the same thing as textile density though? Let me just push this out for now. Layouts. Layout. Uh, still not getting. I think I need more resolution on the edge. I definitely need more resolution on the edge. Let me scale this out some more, like so. Oh, symmetrical. Let's turn off symmetry for this. Because we're not really going to be seeing much of much of the torso, so the yeah, is like the main thing, so we need more resolution on the head. So let's just take the difference in between the in between them for texture texture density. So I click on get this is around four. Select this, click on click on get so three points. 3.4, 4.6. This is the nose. Sets. So one of the nose is to be a bit bigger. It's kind of have the same text identity with the head. So we are getting the text identity from this head and applying it by clicking on set on the nose. That's precisely what we want. The yeah, same with this also. Let's click on set. So let's just drag this up here. So they are overlapping. Let's just extend this out like so. I think something like this should be fine. I think that should be fine. We're applying some checker pattern to this. Yeah, I think this, this should be fine. Let's do a quick save. Alright, I think we are good to go. So now we can export this out. Export. 
let's make sure we're on the right folder so i'll just save this in here well, let me export as fb i think my fbx is messed up geometry is quadrangulated i don't okay i've turned it off already it's turned off already okay uh oh yes we're supposed to get a new folder in here i'm going to name this to z z imports yeah, let's get this all caps z imports yes so copy this folder instead for that directory please oh is already in here so let's double click on this put this on obj which mesh did i even select i'm not even sure which mesh i selected so let's select this mesh uh export selection So where we need to be uh be no uh be no uh be no base mail o one all right okay so i think for now we only need we only we only need the outer eyes we only need the outer eyes because we don't really need the inner eyes for now because it's the outer eyes that we're going to be visualizing more often so let me just name this to outer eye the eyes save Uh, let's just export the minuscules also because this is also important. Uh, okay, okay, that's fine. So next step will be to import this sweet mesh to ZBrush. So let's import this to ZBrush. So let's give this a moment to kind of load up. Okay, so now we're in there now. So uh, okay, let me go back in there. I'll just double click on this default project instead. And I'm going to replace this. So let me just get where I set up load UI. Let's put this here instead. Yeah, it should be fine. So now let's import. So selecting this sphere, making sure there are no subdivision levels in there. Let's import. So let's start with the base mesh. So just two MB. Right, you are in. OK, 
here this is in so let's import so let's do an append a new sphere and import the uh, let us let us fully accordingly the way it is arranged on our folder so select this new sphere and import the outer eye let me just add the meniscus for now perfecto yeah 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 one more thing we need to kind of fix in here is to is to correct is to correct the camera camera setup, our camera setup is just weird so put this on 85 millimeter lens Yeah, and that should be pretty much it for now. Yeah, that will be pretty much it for now. Okay. Yep, this should be fine for now. Yeah, I think we're going to set this up properly. Uh, this here is always weird, always looks weird. Making sure symmetry is done. Let me just push, push this here out a bit more. Something like this seems more natural. All right. So in the next lesson, we're going to start working on this character instead of zip brush. Instead of, instead of zip brush, you kind of get, you kind of get something looking more of a resemblance to this character in here. So. We'll do that in the next lesson. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.